Welcome to Cracking Senses by the Evil Pirate logo from France. Today we'll learn how to crack fast break by Accolade. The first thing to do is to have a copy of the original. We've made it with ADT Pro by David Schmidt. Then we'll have to launch it so that we open the disk image under Switch 16 on macOS. It loads Prodos. It displays the title screen, then the credit screen. Oh! Hey hey! It has reached the quit of Prodos. That means that there is a production check in the code somewhere that we will have to find. This is probably due to an un disk production that failed to work with a copy of the original. What we will do now is try to find it in the code so that we will use the uh, complete suit of disassembling which is called TFDB, the Flaming Bird Disassembler by Ferox of Phoenix Corp that he wrote in 1994. So you see my GSOS screen. We will make a copy of as a break. We could we may call it crack, but we will use it as uh, the copy of the copy of the original. Then we will look at the files. We know that there is a six, 16 files. This is a program file, and the rest of the files look to be only data files for the program. Okay, so. Next step is now to close, find TFDB and launch it. This is a text disassembler that works under um, JSOS. The first command to perform is to type in sloadscriptfile.s and when we then type sedit we can see the uh, set of commands that is the disassembly of files. Then we will launch and load our program. We prefix to fast break, we make a catalog, and we then load the system file fastbreak.616. We will load it. You know, if that does not load instantly, that means that the file is big and there are a number of segments that is probably huge. By default, it displays the first segment of the program. From that, we can see that this is a program written in C or Pascal because the uh, data are on another segment, LDA20004, far, and uh, then we have a PLB. With the seg command, we can see the number of segments. We have nine of them. We have three direct page segments, this is quite weird, and this is a set of zero, and now we have 1000 zeros. If we type in the command info of the TFBD, we can see that the segment is of a kind called direct. This is quite weird, there are three of them. We can also see that there are some segments, and what, which is quite weird, it has no name and it should ring the bell of uh, pirates because when you have something that you want to hide you do not give a name to a segment so that we will begin with it if we press Control H we change from the X to uh, the disassembly view and then what we can see here is that it performs some jumps or calls to uh, subroutines and uh, returns with a zero or otherwise perform some roll command. Here it is asking for memory in segment 0. Then it looks like it is setting the address of the segment in memory, a pointer to it, not uh, the handle. Then this is another routine which uses MVN opcode which moves data from this segment to segment 0 
and starts at db so that in a4 there is some other code that is not called by this routine probably at least it is not copied so we will see the rest of the segment just to see if we can find something that is interesting for the pirate what does it do here? it switches to uh, the 8-bit mode when you see LDX7 from time to time it is either due to a division or multiplication by uh, a 7 otherwise you know that there are uh, 8 or 7 slots in an Apple II so that when you see uh, from x equals 0 to 7 or uh, x equals 7 to 0 then there is a loop that looks into the code C705 that rings the bell of the Pirate 2 because sometimes it is uh, the smart port entry point of a, of a slot what does it do? Oh, it does a cleese and it did the SOE a uh, little bit earlier so that when there is something that you want to do with the disk you try to stop the interrupts and that may interest the pirate too just look at the rest of the code okay 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 oh there is some data here that is used 9.8 or CBA 9.8 will make a table with the X command X address comma number of bytes okay we stop the interrupt we have data that we save the PHP PLA means I save the processor or processor status okay here it looks like there is some data that can be copied here it will be difficult to understand what it is used or put here the db command allows you to uh, reserve a byte as a x defined byte this is the name of the command okay you, we can put another one at 2b7 for instance that make the code easier to read then what does it do here it goes to btcs p push effective address 0 pld so that the direct page is set to 0 so here the code is not really understandable too okay blah 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 it plays a lot with different values in the processor status here it looks like it is more a code in 8 bit and not in 16 bit because we can we want to understand why we have a ldx cpy yeah the code is not readable here at all so what we will do is enter the mx command with percentage what one means all registers are 8 bit now hey and here we have <coughs> e1 c0 0 0 that means that we are playing with the slots and we are looking at some data just to compare those we'll load yff we are looking for a value probably to notify a smart port a smart port slot okay we add three and this is a <laughs> this is exactly what we all know get the slot get the value at ff add three and then you get the entry point of the smart port of a slot okay here we have some code we raw raw and etc etc ah, we have two bit command here which are used to hide or bypass some code we have another one at 370 okay so we come back with 32 31 30 as an error code probably 
Here, what do we have? Uh, we read a value and we have, haha, compare D5, compare AA, compare 96. D5, AA, 96 are the three first values of the head of field and uh, of a sector on a disk. That's very interesting. That means that we are probably in the protection check routine and we'll have to study what we have afterwards. It probably looks for some nibbles on the disk and uh, if we don't find the values on the disk then we determine that it is a copy. Otherwise if we find the values we come back and say it's the original. What does it do here? It, it is looking for data, it adds value, etc, etc and then it comes back. Even though it's not readable from here, it's pretty sure we have found the routine. So that what we will have to do now is to find where the routine that segment 6 address 0 is called. So let's go from segment 5 to 4, 3, 2, 1 and we'll try to find the call, the address 060000. Oh, and we find it! That's fine! That means that the routine at 5029 on segment 5 calls the routine, the protection routine check that we have found just previously. So, we'll have to go back and use the technique which has called the reverse engineering cracking and what does it do? It comes back with a 1 in A that it puts on segment 2 at address 26 it, com it's com it comes back with that value only if the carry is set otherwise the value at address segment 2 address 26 is probably still zero. So we'll study a little bit the routine below. It also goes to segment six, segment 6 a little bit later. And here we see the string after a set of zeros, you know, at address 50CO, which is fast break. This is really fun. We can try now to find where this a previous routine at address 5029 is called. Do we have it on segment 4? No. So that it's not called from that. So we will not go into the segment 3 and 2 because the two segments are data segments. This is something that you probably have to do for one single reason is that those segments can contain pointers to different routines. But we'll first begin with the uh, or start with the, um, the code segments. And we've searched for 5029 in segment 1, the main segment, and you see that it is called at 3AO. What does it do? It blah 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 blah. Pull Y, pull Y, pull Y, that means that it uh, pulls data from the stack. It What does it do here? It just, oh, goes to a uh, shutdown of the tool's routine if the value at segment 2 address 26 is not 0. So that we have a call to 055029. I read the value after the protection and then if it is still 0, I go on. Otherwise, I call quit at 3A9. Now, we believe that we have found the routine and we'll try us to patch it and uh, determine whether this is correct or not. At address 3AO, we'll have to add the number of bytes of the header of segment that you can see here. It's about 4. 40, yes, 30 to 40 bytes. I can't recall exactly the number. We will add it to the value 3AO. 
that mean that 3O plus let's say 40 equal 3EO so that we'll have to segment or sector edit the or block edit we are on Prodos sorry we will have to block edit the uh, the program and we will use block warden by Grand Brodon and this is one of the uh, useful programs to um, block edit files it does not work with uh, resource programs because uh, it is a P8 program and uh, P8 programs are let's say at 99% not able to handle such files so that we launch it, we prefix to fastbreak and then we follow fastbreak.16 and we have to go to address 3AO the offset of the program plus 40 equals 3EO we have to use the command, the right row command just go to the second relative block up then we can use the backslash command to go to the second part of the block and then press E to enter the edit mode we go to blah 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 3 3 3 3 3 3 AO plus 40 equal 3 EO and we find 22 1950 05 AD 2600 FO04. That means for let's say 99% of you who read uh, the <laughs> microprocessor opcodes uh, by heart, this is a GSL jump to subroutine long to segment 5 address 50 to 9 we then load with 80 the address 26 and fo04 means hey, hey, a branch if equal we will replace the gsl with af which means load and load long and we will replace F004 with eight O zero four the back is replaced with a bra and then we'd write back the sector on disk quit and then test we have two options we can test from GSOS but it is better to do as we did at the beginning and test from scratch meaning I quit with 16 GSOS and I restart the process by launching the diskette we lo load Proto 16 the main title is displayed the credits page is displayed and the uh, yes very good very good what does that mean that means that we have probably he cracked the game. I have to say that other things should have been done just to ensure that the program is very cracked. For instance, we have stopped at the first uh, search of 5029. We have not tried to go further and search for others. I can guarantee that there are no others. And what we should also do is play the game just to ensure that there is no check how can you ensure that there is no check you can also browse into the code and see if the value of segment 2 of set 26 is not used how do we do that we just perform a find uh, 26 from all segments and see if it is the value of zero of one or one is not checked into the code I can ensure that it is not so that you have cracked the program I will not be able to play it despite the fact that I have the original game in box and the documentation but I'm not a specialist of such games and I will let others play with it but 
I can say that you have cracked fast break by accolade. Okay, that's the end of the crack. I hope that you've enjoyed it and I hope to see you back for another crack. Thank you, bye bye.